Because fluid dynamics is so hard, many people try to come up with toy models to at least get a glimpse of what's happening. One of these toy models, a particularly interesting one, is the Lorentz system. By the way, this name is not to be confused with that of the physicist, who is spelled with TZ. And this is what is described by this model. There is a layer of incompressible liquid between a surface of constant high temperature and a surface of constant low temperature. We've got some melting ice cubes here. And the velocity field in that liquid is described by three highly abstract parameters called x, y and z. They describe the relative amount of different sorts of motion. Even though this is a very sketchy and abstract description, some people have succeeded in implementing these equations with an actual water wheel. The idea about studying these equations is that they may be telling us something about every system in which convection is present. When we plot the solutions of the Lorentz system in 3D, this is what we get. A very intricate butterfly-like pattern. Here we are seeing two solutions, one in green and one in blue, starting from almost the same point. Something to explore in the next section. The trajectories make some turns on one wing, then jump to the other wing, jump back to the first wing and so on. And the number of turns they take per wing seems to be almost unpredictable. And there's one more thing. Even though both trajectories have almost the same starting point, you can see that they quickly diverge in the course of time. We are going to study that in the next segment.